racing right now. All right, all right. This is something that me and my dad and Kyle have been working on for the last, like, how long has it been? Three weeks, four weeks? Without further ado, I would love to unveil for you your new stream background. Okay, so you guys know how we literally just set up my stream room, did all of this stuff. Yeah, I'm about to tear it all out today. And we're gonna start building my actual backdrop for my stream. We have drawn up some plans. Does that look like anything yet? Can you see it? Does that look cool? Anyways, we're gonna bring that to life and transform my stream room into a literal space station. So we're gonna get started on this today. I'm gonna be vlogging it as always. Kyle got his stream room makeover. I'm getting my stream room makeover. Here we go. Okay, we just carried all the stuff from our supply sheet up these stairs, all the way up here. So yep, the front too. stairs too. So we got a couple extra sheets of drywall and now dad's about to start cutting. Um, more drywall here, 24 two by threes and a bunch of extra supplies. So dad is about to start first cut. The drywall. Okay. I thought we're just trying to get it out front of the window so this sort of TV is gonna sit. Okay. Uh, and then the stew's going to sit behind the drywall. Okay. So we're going to put one piece underneath and put it underneath here, match it for the molding, and then one piece will go from here up eight foot high, because eight foot is where the top of the wall is going to be. Uh huh. It's going to completely cover this TV's going to be hidden behind here. Okay. All right. Oh, you know what? What? I should um, probably cut a notch in here for the cords. Ooh, good. That's a good call. Right? Really do that beforehand. Yeah. Makes sense. Just like that. Alright, this is where the TV is gonna sit behind <laughs> all of this to be a fake window. Then we got the top piece right here. There's the bottom. Now we're gonna put the top on there. Okay, we've got the bench assembled and the window is cut out um, where the TV is gonna slide behind it to look like a space window. The, the bottom bench and then we're just gonna kind of build it out from there. Looks awesome so far. I just sat on it. Dad, do you want to sit on it? Have a seat. <laughs> Holy shit, is it ever coming together? We got a giant freaking TV behind there right now. Just cut a little notch so the controller will work. Okay, a lot has happened since the last time I updated, but we finished all of the framing inside. Got the cubbies and everything. Good to go. We did the drywall cuts. We did a lot of test shapes here on the side, but we decided to make it completely symmetrical to match the like the bay window or whatever we want to call it. So we also left a space for my arc to come out, which ended up looking really geometric and nice. So yay. All right, there she is. Completely framed drywall everywhere we have a seal some shit up tomorrow. Oh my God. In case you guys were wondering what we did the night that I canceled my stream so my dad and I could finish this, here we are. There she is. It's so hard to even tell from here. There's just how big it is. Yeah, it looks awesome on screen. All done, just finishing the edges. We've got a little bit of tape. Now we just gotta wait for that to dry. All right, my dad has left and uh, we have one more coat of drywall to do and also pick out the paint. So right now we have, we're chilling on a sheet of drywall and have a bunch of swatches from Lowe's. And what's crazy is gray is such a difficult color because this looks blue. I, I know I'm probably holding it up and you can't, you're like, what the fuck, that's fucking gray because they all look fucking gray. But when you set gray next to other grays, grays start to look purple and blue and like green and shit. I don't know, it's weird. Picking out a gray is very difficult. So that's why we're comparing it to the sheet of drywall because like this, that's what's actively in my room right now. But right now, I think we're gonna go a little bit darker than I originally thought. I didn't wanna go just white. And I think that this North Star one is gonna be a little too light. Um, and I like this Krypton shade, I think. I know you can't really tell from this, but this is more of like a, you say like it's a purpley? Nope. 
gray. A gray. It's gray gray. A blue. blue it's a solid gray. gray. Nope, nope. It's He's gray, colorblind. Gray. I think it's like a bluish. Anyways, this is blue. This is blue. That's what we're looking at. Yeah, okay. There you go. Now you can see when you hold them together. This I thought was gonna be the one we were gonna go with. This looks actually blue. Oh my god. I'll let you know what we end up going with. This is just it's, uh, colors, man. I don't even know. Okay, a couple weeks have passed since the initial construction of the new background. As you can see, it is now fully primed. It was sanded, uh, patched up, everything ready to go. And I did end up picking a color and it's about to go, it's about to go down. Uh, we went with the shade Krypton from Sherwin-Williams. It's a slate blue gray. And I've got it poured in the tray here and I'm gonna be working on this pretty much all day today. We're gonna see how close I can get to the actual reveal time. So I will take another video once this is fully painted. Invite Yeti up there. Yeah. Come on. Yay. <laughs> Aww. Good boy, Yeti. Good boy. <laughs> Hi, Dee. What are you doing under there? Aww. This is very cute. Are you having fun watching this? Kind of. This is kind of cool. It's really cool. All right, so last video I took was I was painting this, and now I've got my rug back in here. We've got the pups back in here. Got, got Kyle. I got a Kyle. We got bong lamp is being set up again, and next we just have some more lights. Okay, the portholes and everything is set up, and I'm trying to give this a bit of an extra cyberpunky feel, so I ordered these led light tracks off amazon and we're gonna be cutting these um i drew up this design just looking at some other stuff i saw on pinterest and then working with the shape that i have and so we got some super cool clippers and kyle has the strength of a million hulks so he is snipping these aluminum tracks for me and we are setting it up right now and just cutting the pieces based off the measurements and just kind of winging it, but in like an educated way. So we're gonna run the LEDs through these tracks and stick them all the way around here. <laughs> Don't make fun of me, I'm a nerd. Yeah, welcome to the new V1, the new V1 of the Talion spaceship. <laughs> yup! This is V1. This is V1 launch. Oh yeah. So y'all may recognize this. This was my uh, computer background for literal years actual literal years this right here uh this was the inspiration behind the design i had sammy edit this for me so she had a 69 on the back of her t-shirt this is based off um the 88 girl comic and i just have loved this since the very beginning i always wanted my room to feel like space i always wanted my room to be like another another world alien v1 has launched successful liftoff If you haven't seen my room live on stream yet here is the big reveal i hope that maybe seeing some of the background work inspires you and super super thank you to all my friends that contributed to this creative process um and also my dad for putting in so much work kyle for helping me out all the fucking time and if you enjoyed the video or if you have any questions leave a comment below don't forget to like it as well and subscribe to my channel um and that's all i got i'm gonna get out of your way now so you can like see the whole thing in its majestic glory